The Gator Television Network presents Florida Football, featuring the Gators of the University of Florida against the Wildcats of the University of Kentucky. Quarterback has always played well against the Gators. If you remember, the last two years, Florida's won in the last minute. And one of the, one of the reasons that uh, they had to uh, come from behind or the game was so close was because of the performance of Bill Ransdell. Kentucky and Jim Yarbrough, every time that I've ever seen a Florida play Kentucky on television, the grass was brown. That's right, they say bluegrass state, but it's always brown when we come here. I don't think that pitcher does the uh, weather justice. It's colder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> they say 36 degrees, but I would have to figure chillier, at least for those of us who live in the sunshine state, it certainly is. And when they talk about a late arriving crowd, Crowd. They really mean it here because why get here early and freeze? I don't blame them at all. You're looking at the Kentucky Wildcats, the Gators holding the edge in the series, the uh, Cats in their very familiar white and blue. As we get ready for the start of the game, there's their mascot on the field. Ransdell, number nine, a quarterback, and they go with a lone setback on second and nine for the 26. He drops the throw, and it is complete for Wheeler, and he is to the 31 yard the 32-yard line, an eye formation with a motion man going to the top of the screen as Ransdell looks over the Florida D, and he rolls out, looking to throw, and he goes, and it is complete for a first down again, he hits Miller at the 46-yard line. Or as Kerwin Bell goes with a slot high to the right side. Kerwin Bell drops back to throw, and he is hit. Third and fourth, a 19-yard line. He drops back again as they pressure and throws a quick screen out to Logan. And Logan trying to turn the field, fighting for yardage. Let's see if he got the first down. He's going to be close to it. Great. Finally, the young man does get the first down. First and 10 at the 24. Ransom turns outside. His pass to Burbage is complete. And Burbage goes down at the 41-yard line, 7-yard line. On third down as they again go to the shotgun. And Ransom, the senior, throws out of the flat. And it is. And they give him the completion on it. Yes, they give him the clear from the Sunshine State. Kerwin Bell with the I formation. And Bell's give off is going to go to the just a moment ago, who is back in the receiving position for the Wildcats. A low snap, McAndrew gets off a low kick, it hits down at the 40, and rolls across, and Burbage is being chased across the far side of the field, turns up field, and he's loose at the midfield strike, and then he is taken out of bounds in front of the Gator bench. And Mulberry coming up from his cornerback position. Slot offense, and the give off is gonna go to him. Higgs rips it to the first down to the 12 yard line. Up front, they got everybody coming. There is a pitch going off to number 25, Mark Logan. And Logan right down to the goal. And goal on the one foot line for the Wildcats of Kentucky. The give off goes to the tailback. Mark Higgs, 22, he's got the score. The Wildcats get jump Waiting for the snap right now. And he splits the uprights. Kentucky up on Florida here in the first quarter. Seven to nothing. Joe Worley, career record holder for Kentucky. As he kicks, and it's going to go high. Gary Watkins will take it at the 11. He's at the 15. He's across the 20-yard line. Running cross field. He's going to turn up at the 25, still on his feet. And he's taken down, swarmed under, at about the 27-yard line by the Wildcats. And there are flags and whistles the field. Uh, tempers get a little heated on this chilly day. Yeah, these teams are uh, going after it right now. It's uh, very unfortunate. Like Gary Watkins. The Kentucky coaches and the Florida coaches out of the field getting the players off the field. Certainly uh, this is something that neither coaching staff wants to support. Field. After that kickoff, and there are flags all over that field. Well, specialty teams are very violent. Generally, your most violent players are on the specialty the team. Line now for the Florida Gators. With the I formation and the pitch is going to go to Massey. Massey turns it up field and goes down. And there is a scramble for the football at the 32-yard line. And on the fumble, 
Kentucky has recovered. Kentucky Ransom on second and seven off the 23-yard line to pass. And does, and it is complete, but he is good. T. Smith, number 19, is on the ground thus far. Second down, 19, as Ransom rolls out, throws a quick pass to Taken out on the far sideline in front of the Gators. Then inside the 45 Pennsylvania. Slot offense to the left side from the top of the aisle. Taking the football and looking up field is Greg Baker, number 41, before to play in this the second period. I formation with a slot to the right side, and the give off is going to go to Matthew, who is hit as he hits the line of scrimmage. No gain on Hodges, split to the right side. The give off to Massey. Massey hits in, stacked up by the Kentucky D. They were right to score, will be the slot back in an I formation. And Ransdell gives off, and the give off is going to go to number 22, Higgs. And Higgs goes to about the 20 three yard line. Two years where Kentucky plays the Gators tough. The entire ball game, actually Kentucky dominating the first half. Look at the time of possession, 21 minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, the Gators having little success throwing the football. Kerwin Bell to Daryl Woolard. High formation with receivers left and right now for the Gators. Eric Hodge is the motion man, number 10. And the give off is going to go to the fullback, and he is back up as he hits the line. Game is pass away from Alonzo Johnson's record of 12. Third and 12 as Randall runs and throws. It is complete to the 40 yard line for a first year side hash mark. They go with a slot to the wide side. And the give off is going to go to Higgs, and he rips it for another Kentucky first down across the 50 to the 48 yard line for Florida's Gators as Kerwin Bell drops back again to throw. He's being chased and taken down way by the line of scrimmage by Carwell Gardner. So it will be Ransdell with receivers left and right and an eye. And Ransdell goes to throw. He does. And he's got Rogers who steps out in front of the Kentucky bench at the 40 yard location. So you think you're hot stuff. You hang out with all the right crowds and you go to all the right places. Well, let me tell you, you're nothing if you're involved with drugs and alcohol abuse. Drugs only make you a loser in my book. I may not be the hottest thing on the court, but I'm proud of my accomplishments. And I've got a good future ahead of me, a future that I could not look forward to as drugs were a part of my life. Don't ruin your future with drug abuse. After all, you can't be a hit when you're high. Something to think about from the NCAA. On first and ten, here is the throw by Ransdell to Burbage. Takes him out at the 39. Well, first and ten at the 49-yard line for the Wildcats. Ransdell looks to throw. A quick one to Baker. Baker crosses the midfield side and into Florida territory. Down to the 45. Kentucky. Kentucky moves the ball. 34-yard attempt by Worley. Jones with a hold. Worley boots it. And it is good. And Kentucky leads by a score of 10 to 3. Look for the blitz. There and here's, here's Kerwin looking to throw. He throws a quick one out there. It is incomplete. Kentucky has held. It was intended for Anthony Way or possibly come up with a turnover. Third and seven at the 33. Ramsdell rolling, rolling to the left side. Throws, and they've got the first down across the 45-yard line. Clock is rolling first and ten at the 49-yard line. And Kerwin Bell again to throw. And this time, he's got Ricky McTeel. And the rocket is down, and the football comes out of his grasp. It is recovered by Kentucky at the 30 Commonwealth Stadium. But right now, timeout for these messages.